Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we got the biggest hits and misses from the brand new Coach Diary Collection as well as the Asha X Michael Kors collaboration. <laughs> but before we hop into today's hits and misses video, if you guys love fashion, handbags, hauls, Michael Kors, and Coach, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoyed today's video and it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. So to start off, we are going to be looking through the Coach Diary collection on Coach Outlet. Now, this playful yet stylish collection is super, super stunning. And for the first Coach Diary collection piece, we have the Rowan Satchel with diary embroidery, but with the rainbow bag stripe. I love this piece. I think the embroidery on the handbag is stunning. It is a complete hit for me. Love the butterflies. I love how the sewn in leather creates like bows and butterflies and then there's like actual like bug embroidery. It is just really really cute. The Rowan Satchel is starting off at $256 Canadian so nothing crazy high but it yeah it's stunning. It's stunning. Next up on the list we have the coach notebook with diary embroidery. Now this is an easy hit. If you don't know why, um, girl, girl, you know what that, we can all read, right? It says fabulous. Scottalicious McFabulous. Uh, hello. 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 I, this is definitely something I'm going to keep my eye on. I hope it does not sell out. If it does, I will cry. I will cry because this is cute. $58.80 Canadian to start off with. That's, it's, I don't want to say it's too high just because I do know that with embroidery, with Coach and just like every other brand, embroidery does increase costs because there's more manual labor, more manual labor put in. You got to be more precise, et cetera, et cetera. Next up, we have the mini Lily carry all with diary embroidery. And this is a really stunning piece. This might be my favorite handbag in this collection, just due to the fact that it's the Lily carry all and the Lily carry all is a really cute bag. It's a hit. But it is also a little more on the steepish side. It is $286.80 Canadian. So it's got a, a punch to the price. But it is quite sickening. It does include the rainbow strap. And I do believe all these rainbow straps include these little clip-on hooks. Which is like genius genius I wish all my hook like I wish all my bag straps had that hook because girl like there's so many times where I'm like I just want to hook something but you know sickening though sickening next up on the list is the Hudson double handle tote with diary embroidery I'm not sure how much I actually like the Hudson tote bag itself like ah but I do like the embroidery still, but just, it's, I don't know if the embroidery is necessarily going to save the handbag, you know, like, eh. just because I like the embroidery, does it mean I actually like the handbag? No, not really. I'm sure a lot of people like this handbag, but. Well, I'm going to say the Hudson Diary embroidery tote bag is a mess. 
really expensive at $358 Canadian. So like that is like getting up there in that price point. Like you almost might just, you might as well go to coach retail and get a tote bag on sale, you know? Wait a minute, hold on. Next up for another small leather good, we have the Medium ID Zip Wallet with Diary Embroidery. Uh, this one also says fabulous, so it has to be a hit. But there's also uh, a couple of interesting embroiderers on this one. So if, uh, if you take a closer look here, I do believe this is like an embroidered ladybug, but <laughs> Uh, when I kind of like looked at it from afar, I was like, it looks like a tick. <laughs> it almost looks like an engorged tick. And I'm like, coach, what are you doing? Like it's, it's <laughs> $136, 80 cents Canadian. It's, it's not crazy. It's not, uh, it's cute. Price isn't horrible. Anyways, moving on to the Claire Crossbody with diary embroidery now out of all of out of all of the embroidered bags here i do believe this one is 100 percent got the most going on in the front it, there is absolutely no embroidery on the back but on the front it's very like very together i'm gonna say this is a hit i'm gonna say this is a hit uh i a part of me wants to say there's a, maybe a little too much, like an embroidery too much going on in the front. There might be need to be a couple in the back to kind of ease the eyesore a little, but I'm still going to say it's a hit just because overall it's still really stunning. And for $256, like, yeah, it's a little pricey, but the embroidered work on the front itself, it, I understand the price point. I completely understand the price point and I, I, I'm not mad. <laughs> Next up, we have the Holden crossbody with diary embroidery, but there is three different colors. And with each color, I'm pretty sure each one says something different. So the green one says, spill the beans. Uh, it's cute, I'm not gonna lie. The I love the green color in this collection. The brown slash like tan color is Wild and Hayman with a couple other small things embroidered on there. And then the black one is also Spill the Beans. So uh, I'm gonna say they are hits. I do like the versatility of these bags. I like how it comes with the bag straps and such. It comes with an extra bag charm. We, we all know I love my bag charms. $238.80. That's not a horrible price. Like it could be more expensive, especially with the bag charm. So like I, the price isn't making me scared or anything, but like it's still really cute. So it, it, it's an easy hit for me. Stairs. Oh, God, Meg, you startled me. I'm sorry. Next up, we have something that I also kind of, I'm kind of hoping I can get this as well. It's the Mini Val Duffel Bag Charm with Diary Embroidery. It is $76.80, and it would just be cute on, like, any, any bag, really. Like, it hangs really nicely by the looks of it, and it's, it's cute. How could it not be a hit? Or be on, like, anybody's wish list, like, girl, it's it's sickening. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to two fairly basic additions to this line. Like I'm, I'm kind of confused why they included them, but nonetheless, it is the small town bucket bag with diary embroidery. But if you notice, the bag itself has no embroidery on it at all. There's none on it whatsoever. It is just the bag strap. It is just the bag strap. That is it. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but for me, it's kind of obvious that they should have just made the bag strap a separate buying option. Why introduce the liter like literally a normal outlet bag and just be like, oh yeah, it's a part of the embroidery collection because we added a strap. In my opinion, you could have just put the strap on sale instead of it 
including the bag. I don't know. That just seems so kind of weird. So it's a mess. It is a mess. I love the straps though. I love the straps. If you, you could like buy these straps individually, I'd be like, yes, but you can't. And that kind of is annoying. It would have been better to just do away with the t the bag here and just sell separately the strap. Uh, that's it. But what do I know? And the bag is also $226. So it's like, well, ma'am, like I would rather just buy the bag strap separately. Like, I, I don't know. That's just me though. I mean, it's just appalling. It, it sickens me. I woke up this morning. I was so in, in, a, in a rage about what they are doing. And for the final piece in the Coach Diary collection that we are going to be doing hits or misses on, it is the mini camera bag with diary embroidery. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's got a rainbow. It's got a lightning bolt. And it says fabulous on it. And it's black with gold hardware. Duh, it's a hit. Also, $178, so significantly cheaper compared to all of it, the rest of the bags on today's list. And with that massive ass collection finally done, a stunning collection with a few messes this time around, but still stunning nonetheless. They still have their perks. We move on to the Michael Kors X Asia collaboration. Now, before this Ashia X Michael Kors collaboration, I had never heard of Ashia, the brand, before in my entire life. So I will give props where props are due. Uh, it's nice to see that Michael Kors is giving a smaller brand, especially if I'm not mistaken, it looks like Ashia is like a black owned business. So it's nice to see Michael Kors putting that type of business on like a pedestal like that. It's really nice to see that. So there is props there. There's props there, but this collaboration is boring as all can be uh and there is no shade throw on ashia at all this is all michael kors with this new ashia collaboration it's just a signature ashia bag the bolo bag isn't a bad looking bag it's just michael kors could have again done something more we want more Michael Kors. Like, what do I have to say to get it across to you? You're dragging all of those designers on Project One Way. And here you are, feeding us nothing. Giving us nothing. You think you're serving, but you're not, Mama. And I say that with the utmost love and respect. Anyways, uh, my opinions so i do not like at all the asha x michael kors saga signature in leather multi bag i think this bag is a complete mess it, i, I want to say it's cute like the concept is cute especially when they do like this crossbody belt bag thing like i i want to say it's cute but like it's not 600 dollars cute so it's a mess but i will say I will say fully, the Asha, Asha, Asha X Michael Kors Saga Signature in Leather Bolo Bag. I think this is cute. I know Michael Kors did nothing for this. I know this is all Asha because I did look up the Bolo Bag and what do you know? Michael Kors didn't change anything. So I'm gonna say that the Asha bolo bag is actually kind of cute. It is actually kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. It is very different. I love, we love innovative and different types of bags in this channel. We all love, we all know that. This is different, dif different, but in a good way. I love how the crossbody has like this adjustable strap that's like reminiscent to like a shoelace almost like it, it, that's what it reminds me of is like shoelacing and like uh like hoodie strings type of deal i live i live but i really wish michael kors would just do a little bit more on the designing category like girl give us something give us something anyways 
I'm gonna get out of your guys' damn hair, and I'm gonna show you guys a sickening, sickening outfit of the day. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and ninety-nine, ninety-nine, ninety-nine don't don't believe in you. There can be a hundred people in the room in the room. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy today's hits and misses video, and uh, you get a second outfit of the day because I apparently forgot to film an outro. So I hope you enjoy the the sickening, sickening look, and I hope you enjoyed the sickening video. If you love today's content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had in the comment section below. As well, check out the description box for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video bye <laughs> uh, I, I think it was good I don't, I don't. i'm done i'm done oh no show's over show's over